Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you some things about guinea pigs and tell you stuff that you need to prepare for your guinea pigs. First thing you're going to need to know is what kind, what is better, a boy or a girl? Well, these are boy guinea pigs. Um, I really couldn't answer that what is better, a boy or a girl. These are the f first boy, no, these are the second boy guinea pigs that I've ever had. And I think, personally, they are both the same. But I'm sure there are some people who don't know if to get a boy or a girl. To get, if you want a boy, you're going to have to go to a breeder to get them. Because they only sell girls at like PetSmart and Petco. But I wouldn't recommend getting one at PetSmart or Petco because they really neglect their pets. Because um, I've bought, bought in several guinea pigs from PetSmart and Petco. They really neglect their pets and it's really sad. Um and they have like no handling experience at all from PetSmart and Petco you gotta start all over on them and it's just really sad so I would get them I would find a breeder somewhere near and get them from there you can get boys and girls from there um, but you can get them from PetSmart or Petco if you want they just don't take very good care of their guinea pigs that's all I'm saying um, then you need to know what kind of bedding to use and what kind of cage to get um, this is a CNC cage and it is the best guinea pig cage out there that you can get. You don't buy them. Well, you can buy them in kits off like eBay and stuff, but it's so much easier if you just go and buy it, make it yourself. Um, I'm not going to tell you how to assemble it. I'm just going to tell you what it's made out of. Um, it's made out of these little cubes that you get at like Target. Target is the only place I've ever seen them. They don't have them at Walmart, I don't think. But I got mine at Target. They have all different colors. Pink, purple, blue, white, black, brown. Okay, I don't think they have brown, but they have lots of different colors. And they just come with these little connector things. And you just kind of make them into a little box form. And then just kind of stick it in your chloroplast. Um, I would research how to make a CNC cage, though. I would not buy a pet store cage. They are way too small. That's all I got to say on them. They are way too small. But if you want like pet store cages you can get one it's not my choice what you get but I would get the CNC cage because guinea pigs need lots of room to run around but now whether you have a CNC cage or a regular pet store cage you do not use cedar bedding on guinea pigs if you use cedar bedding it can cause it can cause health problems you do not want to use cedar bedding on your in your guinea pigs cage it can cause like respiratory problems and stuff like that. You don't want to take that chance. So if you do use bedding, you want to use pine bedding. Pine bedding. Um, no, I'm not giving you any food, so just shut up. <laughs> Every time they hear like a noise like that, they think they're getting Timothy K. They will see like that. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear. Listen. here. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I'll feed them afterwards. But I've already fed them some today. So you want to use pine, but if you make a CNC cage, you can use that, but it is a nightmare to clean out of these giant cages. Hello, baby. Hello. It is a nightmare to clean out, because trust me, I've done it. I just now stopped doing it, because I just now got the spilt stuff. But it is a nightmare to clean out. I hate cleaning. I hate it. Hey, 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 stop that. Stop chewing on that. Stop it. 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 <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. But, so you definitely don't. I mean, you can, but I, like I said, I would not recommend using pine. I mean, just bedding on a CNC cage. It's just a horrible, 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 horrible task to clean out. It's just blech. It's just horrible. Um, but you can if you want to. But if you don't want to, I would recommend um, you want to get this fleecy material. You can use fleece. Um, really any fabric, I think. I'm not sure, though. But this is just some fleece material that I got at Target. Um, seems like it, you they'll have Target will have everything you need to make a CNC cage. This was just in a blanket. This was not like from Joann's. This was just in a uh, blanket. See, like, there's all the extra 
leftovers. So it just came in a blanket and just kind of draped it over, cut it, and just kind of tucked it under just like that. Um, so, yeah. So I would recommend getting fleece. But if you do get fleece, you want to make sure your guinea pigs are litter trained. Like this. My guinea pigs are half trained, half not. My guinea pigs use this half the time. And half the time they just go wherever they want to. So that is why there's these newspapers laying around. See, you can see there's some droppings over there in those newspapers. And there's lots in here. So, um, to figure out where to put your litter box in your CNC cage, or just in your regular guinea pig cage, you want to take and do a little test. Just leave the litter box out for a couple days, about half a week or a week. See where they use the bathroom the most. Wherever they pee and poop the most is where you want your litter box. My guinea pigs peed the most right here, so that's where I put my litter box. Um, I don't really mind about poop on the fleece. That doesn't really bother me, but pee on the fleece does bother me. But, so, we want to find where they pee and poop the most, put their litter box there. Now, they are going to pee and poop other places. So, I put newspaper where my feeding stuff is because, like, they're going to knock their food over. I mean, like, they're going to do that when they're eating it with their big fat heads. <laughs> and, like, your water bottle is going to drip occasionally. And your guinea pigs may even pee and poop while they eat. So that's why I just have these newspapers down right here. And then over there, the newspapers are down because my guinea pigs like to pee and poop in their little hidey house thing, which would be that green thing over there. And they also like to poop under that little log thing. And they also like to pee in that Dr. Pepper can thing box. So that's why I put all those there on that newspaper, just in case they do go pee or poop in them. There won't be giant mounds of pee and poop on my fleece. Hello, baby. You seem to be very active today. Yes, though he's a little bit jumpy. <laughs> Should name him Jumper. Um. So and then, um, litter box bedding. You can use anything really. You can use anything. Um, food. My guinea pigs love, no, I'm not giving you anything. My guinea pigs love, this is Walmart brand guinea pig food. Super premium guinea pig blend. Um, it's, looks like this. And they love that food. They really, really like it. And then, they always need Timothy Hay. You cannot have a guinea pig and not give him Timothy Hay. I buy the KT Natural Timothy Hay. You can get that at Walmart too. Um, this is how much you feed them a day. Feed them just a couple handfuls a day, depending on how many guinea pigs you have. If you have one, you just want to feed them. Um, I gave you some while you're not in there. You want to feed them. But see, I have two piggies to feed. So I give them about two handfuls a day. But if you have one guinea pig, I just give them a handful a day. Um... And I would put it in the litter box because that will entice them to use the bathroom in their litter box. So yeah, just put them in, put it in their litter box. Um, their litter box don't have to be nothing special. You just take like a, this is just a little storage bin that my dad cut a hole for them to crawl up in. It's their litter box. Um, toys, they, I'm just going to tell you a little secret. They do not play with guinea pig toys. I have bought my guinea pigs numbers of guinea pig toys. They don't play with them. They could care less whether they're in there or not. But now there are toys that you can make that they like. They like homemade toys better than they like pet store toys. So the first thing, you must have something for your guinea pigs to chew on. Um, so, And this is a toy as well. Just get a little toilet paper tube or paper towel tube. Um, this is wrapping paper tubes from Christmas. Um, just send them in there. They love to eat them. Um, and then another toy I've found that they love, they love this thing, is an edible logs thing that came from Walmart. It's a treat.